Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing my everyday makeup drawer for March. If you're new to these videos, I do them at the beginning of every month and basically I share the products I've had in my everyday makeup drawer for the last month. We put those away, pick out some new things in my makeup collection and then do our makeup together at the end using the new products. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's just get into it and we'll start with everything I've had in my drawer for the past month. I will also include timestamps on this video if you want to skip around. And I think that's everything. Let's get started. All right, it is time for a new everyday makeup drawer. So these are the products that I've had in for the month of February, and it's time for some new things. So I wanna share real quickly just a few things that I have really enjoyed this month. This is a pretty good group of products again. January, I also had a really good group of products, but um, there's definitely some things in here that I really enjoyed using. The first one is, this won't be a surprise if you saw one of my recent videos where I was talking about the Fenty Cream Bronzer and how much I have loved it and forgot how good it is. Sorry, I'm trying to open it with one hand. Look, we hit pan on this bronzer. How exciting. I absolutely love this. This is the shade um, But a Biscuit and I love it. This is, I'm just so glad I pulled this out again because I realize I've been missing out on it by not using it. So that has been a really good product. This, I am gonna be decluttering. This just does not work for me. If you saw my everyday makeup drawer last month for February, I used this primer and I think my skin is just not oily enough to use this. It does too much mattifying so if you have really oily skin this would probably work for you but my skin is pretty normal and it just doesn't work for me so that i will definitely be decluttering but something else that this is both good and bad um, i hate to say it but i have kind of fallen in love with this this month the Shantikai future skin I wanted to put this in because I really wanted to test it some more, figure out if I really like it or how I feel about it. And I hate to say it, but I am actually really, really liking this for my everyday makeup. So this all over and then using something else like the Natasha Denona concealer where I need a little bit more coverage, but this is beautiful and it wears well. And the shade is really good for me. I'm in the shade Alabaster and it works really well. So that's another standout product from the month. This I still kind of feel the same about, the Valentino V Lighter. It's fine, I don't dislike it, but I just don't love it. The smell, I don't know, it's just not my favorite thing, but I'm glad I put it in and got some more use out of it this month. And then the other product, I've used practically every day, as you can see. You can kind of see through the packaging right there. This Armani Eye Tint in the shade 18M. It doesn't want to focus, but this has been like my go-to one and done eyeshadow this month. It's just a little bit darker than my skin tone and it adds just the right amount of color when I want to put something on my eyes, but not look like I have eyeshadow on. This is what I've been going for. And as you can see, I've used a lot of it. So I have that one. And I've also been using this one. This one is one shade up. This is shade 22M, a little bit darker. So some days I use both, but there've been a lot of days where I've just used the shade 18. And let's see what else has been a standout product this month. Um, I've really been enjoying actually my NARS powders back here, but especially the light reflecting one. This one, just the plain light reflecting powder. I've really been liking this, particularly under my eyes. I've been enjoying this. I like that it's 
just kind of undetectable. Not a super mattifying powder though, so that's the only thing if I really want to tone down the shine a lot, that doesn't really do it, but it's a nice lightweight powder. And this I'm almost done with, my Biore sunscreen. I think I've got like one or two uses left of that. So I have my favorite that's back up in here, the Centella one from Skin 1004. And then let's see what else. Um, I've really, I've three lip liners I have in here. So Maybelline, Makeup by Mario, and Anastasia. I've been using this one the most by far. Deep Taupe. I've definitely been sleeping on this color. I've been using it a ton. So, and of course my ABH brow powder back there. I've also been using a ton. Um, oh, and one more thing I wanted to share. I kind of mentioned this in another video, but these from EXA, the high fidelity color correctors, I've been mixing them. And this is, I found a really good way for me to utilize the pink shade that I have because the pink is way too light on its own but if I do one dot of peach and one dot of pink it's like the perfect combo for my under eyes so I've been enjoying that and I think that's everything but we are going to go ahead and take everything out of here and put it away and then we'll pick out some new makeup. All right, let's pick out some new products. I am gonna do the same thing that I've been doing for January and February where I only pick a few things per category. I'm not gonna pick a ton of things. That just seems to be working really well for me. So let's start with primers, which are right here. And then these are glowy primers in this first row right here. Last time I had two primers. I had the Cali Ray one that I didn't end up loving. And I also had the V Lighter from Valentino. So I definitely wanna choose something on the glowy side. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do this because this is newer to me. The N Beauty Project Face Glaze. I got this in PR recently and I really wanna use this more. So I think we'll go with that. And then I want to do one more primer. I'm just not sure which one. Let's maybe do the Rare Beauty, the pore diffusing primer. This works really well for me. It does really smooth my skin, but it's not, not to the point that the Cali Ray one does. This one is a little bit more, I was going to say natural. Not Natural is not the right word, but it just doesn't do as much as the Cali Ray one, which works better for my skin. So I think we'll go with those two for primers. And then I might even do, I have this little mini primerizer down here. I kind of want to put this into, I don't ever really find myself needing a super hydrating primer because I find that my skincare really does all of that for me beforehand. But I do like this, the times I've used it, and I just have a little baby size of this, so I think I will stick that in as well. And that should be it for primer. 
All right, now for foundations. Last month I had in three. That was a really good number for me, so I think we're gonna stick with three again. I kind of want to put this in because this is something I don't really know a lot about how I feel about it, basically. The Yummy Skin from Danessa Myricks. This is shade number four. I bought this a little while ago. I used it in a video. I wasn't crazy about it, but I didn't dislike it. I don't know. I feel like I need to use it some more and really figure out my feelings on it. So I think maybe we'll go with that for the first one. Kind of want to do this one, the Super Stay from Maybelline. This is nice, but again, this is not one I use a lot. From what I remember, this shade is actually a little bit dark for me. I'm thinking about getting back into self tanning again because I'm kind of tired of being really fair, especially this time of year. So I might put this in too. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. So that's two things. I mean, I kind of want to put this in. I know I keep talking about this, but it's because I really like it. The Makeup Forever HD Skin. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this because this is what I'm liking right now and I want to keep using it. So we're going to go with Makeup Forever. And I think that should be good for skin tints and foundations. Next, let's do correctors, which all my correctors are in this container right here. I've been only picking one per month, and I've been liking that. I'm torn, though, because I really, I really want to put this one in, the newest one in my collection from Callie Ray. But I feel like that's cheating because I kind of want to have some older things in, too. Maybe... Okay, here's what we'll do. We're gonna do two instead of just one. So I'm gonna do the new one from Callie Ray, The Hideaway. I've been really enjoying that. I wanna keep using it. And then we'll pick out one that I've had for a while so that's not like a new launch or anything. Let's do Pixie. This is, this is one of my favorites. It's definitely, it's a totally different formula than the Callie Ray one, but it's still really good. And I like it, so. We're going to go with those two, and those are two very different formulas. So that's it for corrector. And then finally, we'll do concealer. Last month, I had four concealers in, but they were two, two of the same type. So there were two shades of the two concealers that I had in. So I had four, but they were just two different ones. So, all right, the first ones I know I'm going to do are these because I really want to play around with the Tower 28 ones more. I get asked about these ones a lot and I used them in one of my recent videos and a lot of the comments said that you guys actually like using this all over your face as like foundation. So I haven't really tested that out a ton with this formula so I kind of want to do that and since I have two shades one of Honestly, both of them work for me. I can like mix them to use like as a foundation. So I think those are gonna be two that I wanna use. And then I wanna do either one more or two more. I think I'm gonna do these, the Tarte Radiant Shape Tapes. I bought these when they came out. I, I don't know if I, I don't think I ever even did a video on these. I feel like I meant to and then I didn't ever get around to doing it, but this is another formula. I really don't know how I feel about them. They're, from what I remember, I want to say they have shimmer in them, but I might be wrong on that. I need to, I feel like I need to test these out again. So let's go with those. I have two of those again. So I think we'll go with those four for concealer this month and that should be everything in here. All right, moving along, we have powders, face palettes, highlighters, and bronzers are over there. Let's do powders first. So last month I had in my two NARS powders and I really liked those, but I wanna switch things out. So this time I'm thinking I'm gonna do maybe one pressed powder and one loose powder because I did find, I do find that loose powders set my makeup better than like a pressed powder, even though I prefer a pressed powder. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll choose one of each. 
I kind of honestly want to put this one in, the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I pulled this out for one of my recent videos. Um, I can't remember. I think it was the one, the Neglected Makeup one. And I really liked this more than I remembered liking it when I've used it before. So I think I might actually put that in for a loose powder. I honestly might do this one, the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet. Kind of more of a powder foundation, but it might pair well, especially days when I use concealer as foundation instead of an actual foundation. Another one I might put in is this. So this is Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. This one is shade two though. And I think I can use this. I think, I don't think it's too dark, but I'm not 100% sure. I've had this for a long time and I feel like I never end up using it because I always feel like it's gonna be too dark. But I wanna use it because this is a great powder. So maybe we'll try this and see for a pressed option. And then I think I might actually do a third one. I'm gonna do this Westman Atelier powder because this is something that I don't use like I want to. And this is the under eye powder in the pink color. I forget what this is called. The Vital Pressed Skincare Powder and it was very expensive. And I wanna use, I wanna get more use out of it. So I think I'm also gonna put that there. And that should be everything for powder. Last month, I had my Hourglass palette in, the leopard one from this year. And I use this quite a bit. I love this. I'm glad that I have it. But I think I might skip face palette this time. Or actually, you know what I might put in? For a highlight, I think I'm going to put in my Dior Backstage palette. Because this is, this is so pretty as... Highlighter, obviously, but it's also really pretty as eyeshadow. These are all really pretty on the eyes. And I don't know, I'm kind of in the mood to use this. So I think we'll do that and just skip regular highlight this time. All right, last we have bronzers over here. Usually I kind of have an idea of what I want to put in, but this time I don't really. Last time I had a cream and a powder, so I think I'm going to do that this time. I'm just not sure which one. I have the Patrick Ta duos. So I have She Sculpted, which looks like this. This one is more cool toned. And then I also have She's Bronze, which this one is just more warm. I kind of want to put one of these in. I'm just not sure if I want the cooler one or the warmer one. I kind of want to do She's Bronzed because She's Bronzed, I don't, I definitely use She's Sculpted more of the two. And I kind of want to use this one a bit more. This does have a powder in it, so technically I don't need to pick something else, but I kind of want to put at least one more in just in case I want to use something different. We've got... I could always do this, the True Match bronzer from L'Oreal. This is a good one. This one is lighter than She's Bronzed too, and it's a little bit more cool toned. So maybe we'll do that. Cause then I have a warm option and a cooler option. All right, I think that is everything in here. Moving on to my favorite thing, which is blush. Now last month I had two creams and two powders in and I, that worked really well. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing again. You know what I wanna put in. And I, I think I'm going to because they're just, I just can't not. So I know I have to put this one in, not too much. I've already used this so much and I haven't even had it for very long so this is just, for me and my skin tone and what I like, this color is literally perfection in my mind. So I think this is gonna have to go in because I don't wanna be without this at the moment. So that's gonna be one. I think I'm only gonna count that as one though. I think 
that we might actually do, um, well, this is the peach one. This one is She's the Moment. Kind of want, I want to put that one in, but I also kind of want to put the pink one in. I ran out of room for my Patrick Ta blushes right here, so the other two have to just stay here. But where is this one? Just enough. I kind of want to put this one in and save not too much for when we get closer to a little bit more warmer weather. It's still kind of cold here in North Carolina, so... I think we'll do not too much and just enough this time and next month or the month after that we're definitely going to put in she's the moment maybe we should do one of my merit blushes so we have stockholm fox cheeky and beverly hills Ooh, or no you know what maybe we should do this i know this is new but i kind of want to put this in and play with it some more the elf camo liquid blush in Suave Mauve. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to put that in and then let's pick a powder. This is also a really good one. Clinique Cheek Pop. Maybe we should do this. This is a really pretty neutral, slightly glowy blush. I really like this one. I think we're going to do that. Cheek Pop. I'm going to stop there because I'm really... I don't want to put too many because that doesn't work as well as when I just pick a few things. So I think that should be good for here. All right, four single shadows, which are over here and here, mascara and brows. Let's pick a few things from here. Last month, I didn't have too many eyeshadows in last month, actually. I mainly used these two from Armani. Maybe I'll put in my Merit shadows. So I have a few of them. I have Studio, which is this one. This one's kind of kind of like a rosy beige color. I might do that one. And then I also have Viper. And I have Vichetta, which is a really pretty kind of warmer brown. So we might actually put all three of these in. Yeah. I think I will do all three of those. And then maybe like one with some shimmer in it. I don't want to put this little single shadow in, honestly, from Maybelline. It's Nude Glow. It's just a really basic frosted kind of metallic shadow, but it's really pretty like one and done. Maybe we'll do that. That should be good for singles. Other than I might do one of my shadow sticks. I kind of want to do this one from Charlotte Tilbury, the color Chameleon in Amber Haze. It's just a nice warm bronze, but it's pretty as a one and done or as like a smudged eyeliner. So I think I will also do that. And then let's see, for eyeliner... Oh, I know what I'm going to put in because I've been loving them. I'm going to put all three of the new Persona liners in, which are Graphite, Stone, and Chocolate. I've been using these and loving them. I got these in PR a little while ago, but I've really been enjoying all three colors, so I think we'll do that also. All right, for the brows... So I had my Rare Beauty brow gel in last month and I've really been loving that one. But this one, I probably shouldn't put this back in because I think this was in the month before, but I'm very, very close to being done with this. So I kind of want to put this in. Honestly, this one is still my favorite. I think the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I like the Rare Beauty one. I don't know though, I feel like if I had to pick, I would still choose the Benefit one. So I think I will just go ahead and put that in. Put a pencil in, even though I'm probably gonna use a powder <laughs> most days. I was gonna say I'll do the Mario one, but actually I think I might do this because when I used this in a video, a few videos back, the Rare Beauty Brow Pencil, I like how my brows looked. I still don't like a pencil as much as I like the powders right now, but that one is a good shade. So I think I will go ahead and put that in. And then this is just, like I said, 
I'm not gonna not put this in because I love it. So we'll do that. I need an eye primer. I think I'll do this one from NARS. This is the tinted one in the shade medium. I don't know what's going on with this product. I feel like these are being discontinued or maybe they're gonna re-release them. I hope they are because this is a great eye primer, but you can't find the tinted version of this anymore. But I really like it. It's a great eye primer. Let's see. Oh, I'm also going to pull this out because I actually used up my eye cream that I had in my everyday makeup. I'm going to use or put this one back in the Banana Bright. I had the Bobbi Brown one in. I don't think I mentioned that in the earlier clips, but I'm going to put this in to replace that one. And then for mascara, I'm going to do this one. I got this in PR recently, the Ilia Limitless Lash. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the new e.l.f. Lash Extender in brown. I've been loving that one. And then this one I think is almost empty now. So we're gonna put this into the Clinique High Impact that I also love. And I think that's everything for here. For lips, I don't know exactly how many things I had in last month. I didn't have a ton. So let's pick out some new stuff. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna put this Chantecaille Lip Shine or Lip Chic in. This is the shade Patience. I bought this a little while ago for that Chantecaille video that I did and I have not used it since to be honest. So I think that one I will put in. I think I might put this in because it's so pretty and I want to get more use out of it. This is the Clay de Peau Liquid Lip, but it's the more radiant one. So pretty. It's the shade 201 and it's just such a beautiful pinky nude. It's perfect. I kind of want to put that in too. I think I want to do, yeah, one of these from Westman Atelier. These are the, they're like lip balms but they have like a doe foot applicator and a little bit of color this is the shade nana it's like a beige kind of a pinky beige it's really pretty though so i think i will put that in i am also going to put in the new patrick ta rich plumping gloss in need her this is new to me but i want to keep using it so i'm going to put that in also and then i definitely want to do at least one lipstick like a an actual lipstick you know what i think i'm gonna put in because this used to be if you've been around my channel for a while you may remember this but this was like holy grail lipstick for me for a while it's jk magic from charlotte tilbury it's one of the hot lips two lipsticks and oh it's such a good shade i haven't used this in a while so I think I might do that for like an actual lipstick. And then let's see what else we have in here. I kind of want to put this in because I'm just in love with this gloss at the moment. This Patrick Ta gloss. I've talked about it in my last few videos, but it's one of his original glosses. The I think they're called the Major Shine glosses, but this one is she's an influencer and it is just the prettiest pink with these shimmer flakes in it. It's so pretty. I think I'm going to. I'm going to put that in also. For lip liner, let's do, here's one I don't use that much, the Rare Beauty one in Worthy. It's a good one. I don't know why I just don't reach for this lip liner a ton, but it's a nice pretty color. So we'll do that. I chose three lip liners last time and that was a good good amount for me. So I think we'll do three again. This is a Rimmel lip liner in Cappuccino. It's like a true brown. I've had this for a long time. I don't use this much, but I feel like that's a kind of a pretty shade. A little bit, di it's definitely different from the other one, which was more of a rose shade. So maybe we'll do that. And then one more lip liner. Ooh, 
Okay, this is another really good one. Kevin Aquan in Minimal. I haven't used this in a while. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is a good. Okay, that's gonna be the third one. This one from Kevin Aquan. All right, I think I could do one more. I like to have at least one lip oil in here. So I might do this newer one, this In Beauty Project in Cinnamon Bun. It truly does smell like cinnamon buns and it's such a beautiful color. So I think I will also do that and we should be good on lip products. Last, we have eyeshadow palettes. Last month, the only thing I had in were my singles and then I had this little Give palette, which I actually love this palette. This, uh, this is called Simple Kind of Life from Give. It's just four neutral matte eyeshadows, but that was what I had in before. I kind of want to do my newest from Dior, the Smoky Essentials. Or, let's see. I also have the My Dream palette from Natasha Denona, which this one, or the mini My Dream, I mean, this one is really pretty actually. I might actually put this in, because you have three mattes, two of the more metallic, kind of sparkly shades. Yeah, I think we might do that. And I also have this palette, which I really like. This is one I made, it's just six matte, or not matte, they're not all matte, but they're MAC eyeshadows. I made this palette. I might put that in. Oh. I kind of want to put this in though. I think we'll do this. I'm really loving this Dior Smoky Essentials right now. So I think we'll do that and that should be everything. So I'm going to go ahead and gather all my stuff and we'll go back and organize it in the drawer. everything put back in. I want everything to fit perfectly so bad every time I do this and it's just not going to fit exactly how I want it to every time. So anyway, we have concealers here, my correctors here, primers in here, and then I have one of the skin tints here, the other two there. I have the L'Oreal bronzer here because it was a little bit tight when I put it right here. So I moved it back there and put the Dior palette there. I have the Patrick Ta bronzer and the blushes, the Clinique blush, and then this I really wanted to fit right here, but it won't. So it's gonna have to go there. Then we have the eyeshadows here, mascaras, the Charlotte um, eyeshadow stick, lip products, lip liners, eyeliners, primer, brows, and I just stuck my sunscreen here because it's too big to fit back here. So I just stuck it right there because there was room. And then I have eye cream, lip balm, and that Herborean CC cream back there. Oh, and then my powders are in here. 
And that is everything. So as always, we will do our makeup together and use our new products. All right, let's get into some makeup. But first I want to do uh, my SPF because I haven't done that. And I'm gonna do what's left of this eye cream, which is pretty much nothing. But this is the Bobbi Brown eye base, the vitamin enriched eye base. This is what I've been using in my everyday makeup drawer for the past month. And I love this actually, I would buy this again. I might actually, once I use up the Banana Bright from Ole Henriksen, this is just a really good lightweight cream. I really like it. But I had just a little bit left that I wanted to use up. So I'm just gonna apply that and this will be all gone. And then this is the SPF I'm gonna use. This is also almost gone. This is the Aqua Rich SPF from Biore. I like this one, but I like my Madagascar Centella better than this one, so I probably won't buy this one again because I like the Skin 1041 the best. All right, let's get into the makeup. The first thing I want to use is the In Beauty Project Face Glaze. This I've only used once. I got this recently. My stuff's rolling off my table. Got this recently in PR and I've only used it one time. So I wanna use it some more this month. And I'm just gonna use my 106 from BK Beauty to blend this in. They sent me the bronzy color one too. I haven't tried that one yet. But once I self tan, if I do end up doing that, I'll probably try that one at that point because I think it, it's pretty deep for my skin tone anyway. All right, let's move into Color Corrector. I'm gonna use this one from Cali Ray. This is the new one. And this is the shade Cool Sunrise. I've been loving it. I know I pulled out the Pixie one also, and I love that one too, but I really, really like this, especially for every day. It's thin, lightweight, it wears well, layers well with concealer. And I'm actually thinking we might skip foundation altogether and just use these since a lot of you said that you like to use this concealer just all over your face. I think we might do that because my Maybelline skin tint, which is what I was going to use, this is too dark right now. And I think it'll be fine once I have some self tan on, but. I tested it out just now and it's it's pretty dark for my natural skin tone, so I don't really wanna use that right now. And same with the Danessa Myricks, that skin tint. I can get away with it, but it's a little bit dark. So I think I might, and then the only other thing I have is the Makeup Forever foundation, which I've been using that a ton, so I feel like maybe I shouldn't use that one. Okay, I think what I will do actually is I'm gonna try the Tower 28 concealers, and then if I feel like I need like a little bit more coverage, maybe we'll add a little bit of the Makeup Forever, just to add a little bit, to get a little bit more if I feel like I need it. All right, so I have two of the Tower 28 concealers. I have DTLA and CC. CC is a little bit more of a yellow shade or a warm shade. DTLA is more neutral to cool. So I'm gonna just use some of both. I think DTLA is the best shade for me, but we're gonna use a little bit of both shades since I have them. So this one is DTLA. I also thought this would be a good way to see how I like concealer over that face glaze from In Beauty Project. Now I'm gonna take CC, which is the lighter one, and I'm gonna put this here. So the 
The, the issue I've had with this concealer before is I feel like it's pretty creasy, just in my opinion, but I want to play around with it some more because I don't feel like I've given it enough of a chance. I'm going to take a little bit of DTLA under my eyes too, and I'm going to blend with that same brush which is my favorite, the 106 from BK Beauty. DTLA is a really good shade match for me, just for my skin in general. I'm actually really liking how this is looking so far on my skin. I don't think I've done this before with this concealer. I do this all the time with the Tower, or not the Tower 28, the Natasha Denona concealer. I love wearing that one all over, but I don't think I've done that with this one before. So I'm switching to the Sigma FO3 for under my eyes. I don't think I even realized until just now that DTLA shade truly is like a perfect match for my skin. I guess I should have done this a while ago as in putting it all over like foundation because I'm liking how this looks. All right, I don't dislike this at all, how it looks. Honestly, it gave me decent coverage. I'm gonna take a little bit more of DTLA and see if I can build it up a little bit, but honestly, this looks much better than I thought it would. It's nice, it looks really nice over that face glaze. So I'm going to let this kind of sit for a minute before I blend it, but I don't know, kind of liking this so far. This is going to be so funny if I end up loving this concealer being used this way because I've had it for a while now, but I just have not fallen in love with it, but I know a lot of you said you really like using it this way, so I'm glad that I'm trying it. Let's move on to some bronzer. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's do some bronzer. I think I'm going to try the Patrick Ta one. I haven't used this shade and she's bronzed in a little while. So I'm going to have to kind of be careful with this one. I feel like this color is okay, but it could be a little bit dark. I'm going to get some. I'm going to use this brush. I've really been liking the N15 from Nikki LaRose for bronzer or for cream bronzer. So I'm kind of tapping it off on my hand first and then going on my skin. It's so funny, sometimes I almost do prefer concealer all over my face to like a foundation. I don't know why, but the older I get, the more I really like that. I just feel like I then have like less layers on my face. I don't know what it is, but over the last like year or so, I've really been into just using concealer on a daily basis, but I'm liking the way that Tower 28 looks so far. For blush, I gotta use Patrick Ta again. I know, I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna mix just enough and not too much because I love both. So I'm gonna take a little bit of both shades. All right, I am going to use this Real Techniques blush brush. I've been liking this actually for the Patrick Ta powder blushes. So I just got a little bit of both shades on here and I'm gonna kinda tap it off but I like this brush for his blushes in particular because something like this applies a powder blush really lightly and more diffused. And if you know the Patrick Ta blushes, they are pretty pigmented. Even these newer shades, they're not as pigmented as some of his other ones, but they, they still have some pigment, especially if you have a lighter skin tone. So I've been liking this brush because it applies just enough without going overboard. Especially if you're gonna apply the cream on top, you don't wanna go too overboard with the powder because then it'll be hard to put the cream 
over it without going crazy, you know? All right, for the creams, I'm gonna use the lighter side of the N17 from BK Beauty and Nikki LaRose, and I'm actually dipping into both shades. And then I'm tapping it off again on my hand. And if it looks crazy, don't worry. We'll go back over it, but oh, these two colors, I just, I love them. I know some of you are panicking right now, don't panic. So I'm taking my same foundation brush and kind of bouncing over them. And I'll take my sponge and kind of go over them a little. Once we get eyes and brows and mascara on, it won't look as much. It's because I don't have much else on my face yet. <laughs> but they look really bright, but it'll all come together, I promise. Let's set my face with some powder. I'm going to use this one from Hourglass, the Veil Translucent Powder. And I'm going to kind of tap it off a little bit too because I don't want a ton of powder. Just enough to kind of set my face. Okay, let's move into brows now. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna use this, the Rare Beauty Brow Pencil, or my brow powder. I think I'm gonna use the brow powder. I know. This one from ABH in Medium Brown. This is just my favorite thing right now. Let's move into eyes. I'm gonna first start out with this primer from NARS. This is their uh, tinted eyeshadow base that I think has been discontinued because you can't find it anywhere. This one is the shade medium and I really wish they would bring this back because this is a really good eyeshadow primer. But I don't know, it's been kind of hard to find for a long time, but I hope they bring it back. All right, I think I'm gonna use the mini My Dream palette from Natasha Denona. So I'm gonna take this really pretty matte shade right here, which is kind of just a light, neutral, beigey brown. And I'm gonna put this all over. So I'm gonna put it on the lid, and kind of bring it up into the crease also. I love that color. I know most would say it's kind of boring, but I love it. It's like the perfect matte one and done for my skin tone at least. All right, then I think I wanna take this metallic shade down here, which I think is Devotion, this one right here. It's kind of like a taupey bronze color and I'm gonna put this on the lid I'm using a brush but you could definitely use your finger too this shade kind of reminds me of beige Mitza from Dior that single shadow I got recently this shade kind of reminds me of that. Maybe a little bit lighter than that one. All right, now I'm going to use the Persona Liner in Stone. I've been loving this. It's a really, really close, or it's really close to Victoria Beckham's Cinnamon, but I like to apply it kind of on the outer half of my eye and then take a pencil brush. This is the 210 from BK Beauty and just go over it and kind of smudge it out, wing it out on the edge a little bit. I love this shade in stone. Also like layering these sometimes. So like if you want it to be a little bit darker can add a little bit more but I love this color because it's liner 
So you can see like it adds some definition, but it's not harsh. It's very soft. All right, now I'm gonna take that bronzy color devotion again, and I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. I love that color. All right, I'm also gonna take chocolate from Persona, which is just darker and it's not, uh, this one I believe is matte. Yeah, it's darker than stone and I'm gonna put that in my waterline, mainly focusing it on the outer half. All right, I curled my lashes and I'm gonna apply my mascara now. I'm gonna use the Clinique Hi-Fi High Impact Mascara, long name. This one is in the black brown shade. All right, for lips, I think I'm gonna use Kevin Aquan in the shade Minimal. The shade kind of reminds me of a uh, structure from Pat McGrath, which is also a favorite. Then I am gonna take the blushes we used. So a little bit of the pink and a little bit of not too much. If you have these blushes, by the way, and you have not Try them on your lips. Try them on your lips because they're really pretty there too. I think I might add this gloss from Westman Atelier. This is the Squeaky Clean Lip Balm. Just kidding. That's too pale. Hold on. All right, I think I got too much of the pink shade. Just enough. So I'm gonna add not too much again. And then we'll do a different gloss because I don't think that one has enough color. All right, I think we're going to do his new gloss in Need Her. All right, this is the finished makeup. I did end up kind of switching the lip again. I kept the lip liner the same, but there was too much of this pink. I think I put too much of that on initially. So I wiped that off and just did not too much. And then on top of that, I did the In Beauty Project lip oil and cinnamon bun because it was looking a little too cool and too like purpley pink for me. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this month's everyday makeup drawer. I love these so much. I look forward to them every single month. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will have everything that I used in the description box linked for you. I do use affiliate links that support my channel when you shop through them. Thank you so much if you do choose to do that. If you're new, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram at simply.flare and TikTok simply.flare1 and I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.